FNAF is maybe one of the most popular game franchises ever. Fuck, shut the f*** up, you <laughs> Harley TVS is here oh, too. Oh no! <laughs> FNAF is maybe one of the most popular game franchises ever. It, just like Undertale, started off as nothing but a single person's passion before exploding into something completely uncontrollable. The original game being made by a dude called Scott Cawthon. A gross simplification of the game is try not to die as the robots try to kill you. Is that even how the game works? I haven't actually played FNAF. Clearly this game resonated with a lot of people as the fan base is as active as the Undertale fandom was in its heyday. The amount of fans creating stuff ended up spawning multiple fan games, fan theories, high quality fan animations, fan made games, fan made songs, and I haven't even spoken about the official game yet. Nine mainline games that tackle multiple gameplay styles, a canonical comic series giving more lore to characters in the series, and easily what I think is the most impressive part about all of this. Scott managed to get children to read books. The man's a god. One of the more popular aspects of the community from my perfect perspective is fan theories about the lore of FNAF. I have seen college essays of less detail than some of these fan theories. There is also the multi hour long video in FNAF I made on my alt account. All of this looks really positive. Hey, hey, what's that noise? With a game so huge, there's obviously a lot of random fights that break out into this community that many would label as drama. Obviously there exists little vultures like me who are going to try their best to capitalize on the suffering of others. Wow, I'm really sorry, that just came out. Now one of the most popular FNF drama channels is actually streaming right now. I know some of you have some questions, like, who is this I need to cut that because you can't- This is Theft King, someone who got his start by making FNAF content before getting his first whiff of success through a drama video titled. Since that video is released, he has managed to reach free 340,000 subscribers and maintain a decent audience for all of his videos. And while he might sound and probably look like an adult, he is mentally a child. If you're in the FNAF community or have friends who talk about Theft King, <laughs> Then you probably know that he has managed to piss off everyone at some point. Through his through his harassment campaigns of smaller creators, baby rages at everyone saying, well, basically anything to be honest, and him outright lying and manipulating situations to come off as the victim. Let's talk about what I can only describe as the sanest man on the planet. Click the links in the description and subscribe or I'll haul you like a ghost. Ooh. So this all started where all the worst stories start. Twitter.com YouTuber and Twitter user King Carter made a post regarding misinformation and rumors being spread about the FNAF verse. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Theft DM'd him, basically complaining that a few people in Carter's community were harassing him. Your tweet suggests that you're with us or against us. Like, how could you promote Pope Goes Arcade One Day and then make a video criticizing the impacts of fan verse on the fan game scene? It's not like that. I do support your games and your projects. When it criticizes the impacts of. Oh my god. When I criticize the impacts of the fanverse, I'm not criticizing you. You are not the fanverse. You are not responsible for any of the criticism I made in the video. They have nothing to do with you or your project. I guess that's why I was so surprised when you seem so hurt by this. For that oversight, I apologize. Clearly the fanverse means a lot to you, and had I been more aware of that, I'd still would have made the video, but perhaps would have triple clarified this. That's what I fear this comes down to. I really think you're taking this personally when it was never meant to be personal. I understand that you would probably think this information not had to be made to the public, but you came into my public stream chat and started talking about the fanverse in past tense and said all that stuff. I know it's inconvenient to you, but it's my job to make these videos. Your statements were interesting. Breaking news to the majority of the FNAF watching YouTube audience. The reality is, my videos have been extremely well received, including this latest one. I'll be frank, a lot of the hate sent my way are from people directly traceable from your community, the harassing DMs, personal attacks, etc etc. If you don't think that we can have a working professional relationship, in spite of the fact that my job sometimes puts me at odds with you, fine. That sucks, but fine. However, in that case, I'd ask you to just ignore me. You certainly have right to respond if I use your statements in my video, but frankly, I suspect it to be the best for everyone if you just ignore me. I'm not your enemy, but I'm not your friend either. I like your games and I'm extremely excited for them. I will continue to make videos covering the topics I think are interesting, however, I don't have any beef with you or your game. I thought my latest video was extremely positive about Pope Goes and you specifically. <laughs> Now firstly, this was the original thumbnail for the video. Can you argue this was clickbait? Yes. Because surprise to no one, that thumbnail sends a completely different message compared to the actual video. Secondly, Theft King brings up the fact that his video was well received mostly, which wouldn't be the case if he was clickbaiting. Okay, let's unpack that real fast. Most clickbait videos are actually well received, like the millions of YouTuber courses that exist on this platform. Wait, hang on a second, what? The only time clickbait even gets disliked into oblivion is tech tutorials, which you don't do, Theft King. Thirdly, you talk about how well your video's reception was and then complain about negativity surrounding your video? 
What does that mean? The way I interpreted this is people are maybe being a bit mean to you in the comment section, but do I need to remind you, 340,000 YouTube subscribers. There is no way everyone will agree with you 100% of the time. Hell, King Carter actually responded pretty kindly too, and explained what the issue was. He even had a similar response that I did about the harassment claim. Wow, hindsight sure is great, isn't it lads? The content of your video was fine. I never made a comment on what you said in the video itself, and in my own community, I actually complimented how it was laid out and how I used my comments from the stream. I thought it was a clever idea. My only gripe was with the title on the thumbnail, which gives an awful, unfair impression of the fanverse. Anyone who sees that message from a channel which has as much credit as yours would assume that some kind of news has broken out that the fanverse itself has come to an end. It hasn't. It obviously hasn't. You know it hasn't. You know it's not a goodbye to the fanverse. You still said it in the thumbnail because it's attention grabbing. I despise this choice that you have made for your channel, and it's a choice. Oh, Feth King never responded to this, by the way. Oh, hey, I'd like to resolve this issue. Okay, here's how you resolve the issue. Truly, a once in a generation prospect. A completely unrelated event happened that led to King Carter making a sub tweet about the FNAF clickbait channels, before then clarifying which channel actually caused this reaction. So of course Feth King moved on with his day. He made a response. Okay. Now, Feft King is a public figure, so people made responses to his misinformed take, which is entirely fair. Hi, Kane. I'm receiving a tremendous amount of hate, harassment, and even some stupid and incredible, but still, threats. We do not care. Oh, whoa? What's this? The consequences of my actions? Never do that again. I want to say this one more time. Proof and feats, please. This entire paragraph reads like Fef King trying his hardest to make himself look like the uwu victim, saying he's getting harassed by Carter's fans. He then tries to manipulate the dude by saying other YouTubers have an issue with him too. It's not just me either. You're starting to piss off other content creators by attacking anyone who dares to talk about something that can betray the fanverse in a negative light. It's probably wise to have a better relationship with your own press. I'm asking you to please put a stop to this now. If you continue to attack content creators on Twitter, when most of us don't have a super large following, they're going to retaliate on their own platforms. And I absolutely do not want things to get anywhere close to there. For everyone's sake, please make a tweet asking people to leave content creators alone. This isn't necessary. Those are the same tactics I'd use when I was like five years old. And this man's 30. Feth King made a video over this. Then a live stream where he complained about Carter ignoring his DMs, which surprise surprise isn't actually true. In my super amazing, godly, super rushy, magnificent, perfect, amazing, super saiyan, god, super saiyan opinion, Carter responded completely justifiably. Feth King responded with a live stream, and I know at least a few of you watching are wondering something about this whole situation. Why would anyone dare to take this so seriously? Well, it's because Feth King refused to stop unless everyone understood that he was the victim in this situation, and that he was being attacked by a channel bigger than himself. He did a really bad job. Um, thanks. So at this point, I had messaged him two weeks prior and after he asked me to, and he didn't say anything. Now, yes, I see the check mark is not red, but that doesn't mean anything. You can see you have a pending notification. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, thank you so much, nice demon queen. You can see you have a pending notification in your messages and just not ever open it. So, I, you know, yeah, I know he hadn't read it, but I, I didn't know that he hadn't, he didn't know of it. I mean, I assumed, hey, Kane asked me, yeah, he, he asked me, I, he asked me to do it. And so like, of course, like why, of course I'm gonna reach out. He told me, yeah, reach out to me on, read it, reach out to me on. Are you seriously crying? Of course, Carter showed the screenshot of him explaining to Feft King that he doesn't check Twitter DMs. And Theft's response was priceless. What? Uh, hello, hello. Hey man, keep your chin up. You should check out the latest tweet by It Lost Pop Goes. It's important. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding? Do you really think this is the fucking venue for this? I DM'd you. I'm begging you to fucking speak to me. I've been begging you. And you've been ignoring me. I didn't do anything. I've been ignoring you. And now you come in private. I'm trying to resolve this in private. And then you come in my fucking live stream and do a donation. Are you serious? Are you kidding me, dude? Do you know how unfair a position that is to put me in? Are you s Wow, dude. Wow. 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 Wow, dude.
Okay, now, yeah, now you're gonna, now you wanna talk to me? You, you know what? Yes, because I'm so fucking desperate for this to be over. I'm so fucking desperate for you to stop weaponizing your audience against me over a video that fucking Sheep Rampage made that I'm gonna end this fucking stream and look at this message that you said because I'm that, even though I don't want to because I think what you just did is fucked up, I'm gonna do it anyway because that's how fucking desperate I am in the hopes that maybe this can be finally fucking over. Notice the silence as Feft reads the tweet, realizes, oh f he caught me, ends the stream to avoid showing the tweet, and then says that the dude deserves to burn in hell. And I, I, I always believe that because I always want to believe the best in people, but from what I've seen in the last few days, I, I think King Carter is, is a vindictive, evil person. Um, you know, I'm not religious, but like if there was a hell, King Carter will burn for eternity. Like that's straight up the kind of person I think he is. He's vindictive and likes to see people suffer. That's what his actions have proven. His actions alone have proven that. Need I remind you, this all started because of a tweet that wasn't even about Theft King. Let's not also just forget the part where he says word for word that he is trying to solve this privately, while sitting on a live stream of hundreds of viewers. <laughs> He just brought a bunch of drama to his large audience so that they'd feel bad over a guy. Not responding to DMs, which... I, come on, dude. But he apologized, guys. We're good. No, we're not. Uh, what? After being called up by a YouTuber called Johnny Blocks about making light of a serious situation. Yeah, Johnny Blocks, fucking asshole. Look at this guy. Hell yeah, I mean, this guy is a fucking clown, obviously. It's, this whole thing is hilarious because this fucking idiot. Fuck that guy, dude. Wow, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I don't know why he would get into this. I guess I guess he was waiting for his opportunity. Like he's jealous or something. Waiting for his opportunity to try to go for me. But you swing at the king, you best not miss. I can't slam someone else's desk. I cannot. Either Theft King lacks self-awareness or he thinks his fans are brain dead. Now I wish it was the former because that'd be hilarious, but we all know it's the latter. On a live stream to thousands of his fans, Theft King insults this dude, but will cry harassment when someone will call him out for his terrible takes. You can't have both sis. I don't even need to make the punching down argument, at least not yet. But what I will say is that it's a massive move to cry about people criticizing you and then pulling this on a live stream. Hello guys, this is my video now. Oh, oh, you. Hello guys, this is my video now. Um, so about Theft King. Uh, so I was really thinking that Rendis is leaving the room. I was really thinking that Theft King is actually a, a like a really bad guy for these reasons. And uh, also, oh, while well, he's you need to leave. subscribe to to, to Harley to TBS on Get YouTube. The but I will say that it is a massive move to cry about people criticizing you and then pulling this on a live stream. Because this is the appropriate reaction to someone replying to you on a tweet. This is how young adults sh- He's 30?! We are not done yet, lads. FNAF artist Lady Fizzy- Fizzy? FNAF artist Lady Fizzy is removed from her job for doing all of this. That is good! Someone doing all of those things mentioned shouldn't be in a high pro- Someone doing all of the- Shut the f Someone doing all of the things mentioned shouldn't have a high pro- <laughs> Someone doing all of the things mentioned shouldn't have a high prominence in any community field of children. Theft King decided otherwise. <laughs> Apparently celebrating a pedophile being removed from a community filled of kids makes you vindictive. Twitter was enraged. To show you how unbothered Theft King was from this mini controversy, he tries to stroke his own cock and tell his audience not to read replies. Truly, the words of our confident and immortal leader. Don't salute. What the fuck? I gotta that? salute him. He's Theft King. <laughs> Bro, yeah, salute. He's Theft King, That's you know? crazy. Yeah. I don't think I should have to read off tweets drenched this much in copium. It'd put flat earthers to shame. If you want this whole situation to go away, I have an idea. Hey, Hey, look, a strawman. <laughs> Go f yourself, dude. Summing up everyone's criticism as they're calling me a pedo is truly the play of the game. Why did you make a video on this? Bro, it's not that deep. In common Theft King fashion, he runs off to his community to whine for... Hang on. He runs off to his community to pine for sympathy by just outright lying to them. Do you remember that time you got in a dude's case because he called you out for the same thing? Because I do. It is so insane that Feft King spent so much time huffing copium until he finally made a video so his fans could tell him he did a good job. I'm gonna read this entire DM conversation because it's a perfect microcosm of Feft King's ego problem. And you don't know about me as well, so please don't accuse me that I said that I said bad things about you, which is not true. And believe me, that I don't heard any good thing neither of these games. This doesn't make it- what? 
Congrats, I responded to your DMs on stream. So I'll send you the video shortly and you can have your answer. If you didn't hear any of the nice things I had to say, then you didn't watch the video. But if you come at me with lies, I'm gonna defend myself. I hope you're happy with the response when you see the video. Later, deny. Thanks for reaching out and harassing me. The video came out, it's f***ing awesome and everyone loves it and everyone is apologising to me. And you're mad for some reason. You're mad that I was vindicated, that you were led to believe that I was a horrible monster, when in reality, you were the one that was misled. You were the one who was biased and mistaken, operating based on feelings rather than on facts and evidence. People decided that my video would be based what? People decided that my video would be biased and insensitive. Why? No reason. None of my other videos have been biased. I've always strived to be as objective as possible. It's my job. So now that the video comes out and it's not biased and it's great, all those people will feel really stupid. Sure got them there, Fef King. Subscribe to Nose Nation. Jesus Christ, how small is your p Fef King has an obvious ego issue with his head being so far up his own heart. he has a permanent brown tint over everything. But it's so fragile that the slightest bit of criticism leads to him wasting hours of his time trying to get that lick back. By running to his audience to get fucking coddled by them. Death King is in his 30s, mind you. His brain is fully developed by this point. That is unironically the best you're gonna get. All right, here we are. We're up to me. So last July, popular YouTuber Sheep Rampage had released a video covering the troubled history of the ill-fated Fazbear Fanverse. Fazbear Fanverse developer Kane Carter subtweeted about Sheep Rampage's video, which in turn provoked his followers to begin to attack me. I reached out to Kane and asked him to ask his followers to leave me alone, but he didn't reply, so I made a response video demonstrating that all of my prior videos had always been incredibly fair to him and the other Fanverse developers. Afterwards, I hosted a live stream, and Kane sent a super chat that led me to believe he was looking to make a and work things out. Unfortunately, it was actually a Rick Roll. You're a fucking liar. He is such a bad faith piece of He has actively lied about events and cut context in order to make himself seem like a victim. Before then, in the same video, try to downplay what he did because there's worse people in the FNF community. FNAF. Why thank you, Feft King. If you had not enlightened us the way you did, the FNF Degenerates might have not been released. <sighs> Fef King is the first person in the world that would make me audibly eye roll. Finally, after a large part of my life was spent combing through this pile of acid, I can finally talk about the part where Fef King truly let his colors show, as a vindictive manipulator who would lie about people 100 times smaller than him just to satisfy his fragile ego. Fef King had one of his private emails leaked by one of his critics who obtained this information from a DMCA takedown issued by Fef King. Hot take, he's completely in the right to call someone out who attempted to dox him and steal his content. You lose when you lie about other creators though, because Fef King did that a lot. Fef King multiple times throughout the video claims that the entire group was aware of this, when this objectively isn't true. Apparently, a private Discord group including some FNAF content creators had obtained my private email address. One of my friends, Relolin, got caught up in this too. What the f***? Also, just to help Relo get to 10k, he's really cool and very close. Fef King then takes his attention towards a YouTuber involved called Sleep Live. Also, he abusing the system now? Excuse me, abusing the system? The video was literally titled, Footage I Stole from Fef King. It was completely unaltered. Underscore was the one abusing the system by uploading my content and saying it was other people's to use for free. I used the DMCA system as intended. There's no abuse here. The fact that this person accused me of abusing YouTube's copyright system for taking down a stolen video is just all the proof you need that these people are looking for any excuse to try to make me look bad, even if it's not true or not based in reality whatsoever. Me and I spread misinformation on the internet. Both Sleep Live and Relolin both denounced the doxing and explained what the group chat was actually for. So not only did Feft King lie about two small creators, but to this day, he is still doubling down. In fact, he actually striked the person defending themselves for him lying. In fact, there's a screenshot of Feft King saying that Sleep Live's video was fair use. No matter how I look at this, there is no way Feft King could possibly get anything out of this other than victimizing himself more when Sleep Live gets pissed, which is exactly what happened in another Feft King tweet. So to remind everyone at home watching this video, all the things this little sh** is responsible for. We have li literally crying on a live stream because someone wouldn't respond to him in Twitter DMs, lying about multiple creators throughout months in order to spark outrage in his audience, manipulated his audience into believing false stories by victimizing himself in situations where he was clearly in the wrong, inciting harassment towards smaller YouTubers, punching down literally on hundredfold, coping over multiple people criticizing him by running into his echo chamber of an audience. Have I mentioned lying about other YouTubers? And worst of all, striking down people who rightfully criticizing for his terrible actions. There's no way he gets any worse. I say to Harley TBS in the corner, sitting in this room alone, knowing full well that yes, yes, this does in fact get worse.
Twitter wasn't having any of Theft King's bullshit, which is surprising when you see the schlock that's usually on Twitter. And while Theft King's video had a mostly positive ratio and his fans were none the wiser to the literal cat found all over the video. So he went back onto Twitter for some reason? I just don't really understand this at all. This has never gone well in the history of ever after you do something stupid. Legends say a hundred years later, people are still trying to uncover why Theft King did this. <laughs> So instead of letting himself be coded by his fans like he does every other time, he is going to lie about another creator even more because... I don't actually know. What I do know, however, is that this is a gross misuse of Theft King's massive audience to spread misinformation on a creator. I could say this is an irresponsible and cheap way for Theft King to protect his ego. I could say this is a petty drama used to silence someone who criticized Theft King. But I'm not going to say any of that because this is just cowardly. Theft King likes to pretend that he's a massive gig who is unfazed by all of his hate- No f love! Theft King likes to pretend that he's a massive giga chad who is unfazed by all of his haters, but then makes tweets like this. I actually responded to him and you'll never guess what happened. It's much better to paint a narrative of being a little victim being attacked instead of actually acknowledging the valid criticism made against you. This guy is in his 30s. He's in his 30s and yet he's so childish. This is common rider levels of saying and doing childish things because people dare to be mean to you on the internet. As I've said before too, the people who dox him are easily the biggest pieces of shit here. But the people Theft King has targeted didn't do that. At best they criticized him fairly. At worst they were mean to him on Twitter and yet this grown adult, this fully developed adult in his 30s he thinks it's okay to slander a 16 and 18 year old on the internet because they made videos on him to get a lot of views. And this man thinks he's in the right. Yeah, you can bake off of all of that. What is there even left to say here? This is obviously a misgruce of your position as a content creator to fuel your ego. To be completely honest, I saw Theft King as a generic big YouTuber who puts all of his existence into his YouTube channel. But after he literally cried on stream and full striked videos, I think he's just a massive pussy. If Theft King didn't let the smallest things get to him, then I can almost guarantee that none of this would have happened. Wanna know how I know that? Because this all started over a tweet that wasn't even about Theft King. This 30 year old man child caused such a massive fuss over something nobody cared about. I get it, it was your first time being in controversy, everyone acts a little irrationally when that happens, but what about the second, third or fourth time? Why are you allowed to treat everyone around you however you want and then cry like a child when someone calls you out for it? Theft King, you are easily one of the most frustrating, egotistical, childish and cowardly people I've ever had the discomfort of reaching out to. Oh and also Theft King, just so we're clear on something, you said this in a video about people using clips of your videos. So would you look at that, I've left your channel as credit. Please try and copyright strike me now. It would be very humorous. Theft King, if you're watching this, delete Twitter. You're embarrassing. And that's the end of the video. Probably won't be up for too long because of Theft King's history of, you know. I'll deal with it when I get to it. But anyway, have a good day. See ya, lads. Wait, what the f are you doing here? Uh, I, I can explain. Well, you better really. I don't remember that in you, in. Uh, I'm with Holly. Who? Uh, oh, sh. Oh, man, don't give me fun.